Hello everyone, welcome back to Pooja's recipes. I hope everyone is fine in these hard times. It's been a while I haven't shown any videos. So now I'm back again with lots and lots of nice and new recipes. So let's start. Today I'm going to start this with Bindi Kurkuri or Bindi Karari. It's a very good recipe, very tasty, crispy. You can use it as a snack in parties or like children also love that. It's just made with very simple ingredients and it's, it's going to be very very nice and tasty. So let me show you the ingredients. This is bindi. This is around 300 grams to 350 grams of bindi. I have completely like fully washed it and wiped it and I have cut both the ends little bit. So and this is red chilli powder, salt. This is rice flour. This is 2 tablespoons of rice flour and 4 tablespoons of besan or gram flour. We just use a double quantity. This is roasted jeera powder. This is amchur powder, chaat masala, and this is oil for frying. These are the just few ingredients we will use. And now I'm going to show you how to cut the bindi. We are also going to de-seed it. Just this is the bindi. I'm going to cut this bindi in two halves. And we have to take out the seeds from both these uh, parts. Just take out the seeds and then we have to cut into half the reason of taking out the seeds is because when we are going to fry, fry it because we are going to deep fry these bindis these, all these um, seeds are going to spread in the oil and they won't even taste very nice then so we are going to deep heat them and take out the seeds and give a slit and just make it into four parts one bindi like this into four pieces so I'll just cut all the bindis and show you See, I've taken out the seeds. Roughly, almost all seeds I've taken out. If some of them are even left, that doesn't matter. We don't have to take out every single seed. I'm going to add all these spices and this besan. Besan, we are going to take approximately four spoons. It's going to give it a very good coating. And half quantity this of rice flour which is going to make it very crispy that's why it's called bindi karari or bindi kurkuri this is roasted jeera powder one teaspoon red chilli powder one teaspoon or according to taste salt almost one teaspoon and amchur powder also almost half to three fourth teaspoon so I'm going to mix it nicely we, because we have added salt now in some time you will see that it has become a little bit more moist and the masala and everything will start uh, coating on the bindi and then we are going to fry it in just few minutes we have to mix it like properly either with your clean hands or with any spoon you can mix it slowly see this coating has been like it's stuck to the spindies all over. Can you see? Now it's ready to fry. I'm going to fry it. Uh, we don't have to fry it all together. In small portions I'm going to fry. Deep frying it. First the flame should be high. First one or two minutes and then we are going to make it on medium uh, low. See, this coating is properly stuck to this. Now I'm going to fry these. Just spread it over all around. Let it be there for few seconds and then we can just turn around. See. It's going to be very crispy and very nice and very quick also. If you want you can just leave few seeds also sometimes if you don't have any like much time to do that. Just do it roughly and then also it's going to be good. The only reason we remove the seeds is also one of the reasons is that it's like otherwise the bindi would get quite sticky because of the seeds and if you remove the seeds it's going to be crispy, more crispy. So this bindi is ready, it's fried properly. See the coating is also there and oil, oil is also very clear, no seeds and this, this masala is also stuck properly. So like this I'm going to fry the rest of the bindi and serve it then. See how crispy it is. I'm going to take it out on a kitchen towel 
and then fry the rest. So I have served this kurkuri bindi. This bindi karari is looking amazing. It's, it smells so nice with all you know. This is so crispy. And I'll show you one. This is just amazing. Now let's finish this with. This is optional. I just put a little bit of chaat masala. Just sprinkle a little bit on the top if you want to. And little bit of red chilli powder. It's optional. I hope you enjoyed this recipe of kurkuri bindi. Do try it and comment. And do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.